I'm back, you guys, and I got some data. These are Europe's top two basketball academies, Europe Basketball Academy and Euro Pro Basket. Now, for the past year, I've been following both of these in an extensive research study, coming up with all the data of the players who are assigned here, where they come from, their nationalities, their playing experience. And I want to share all of that information with you today to ultimately show you where maybe you should be looking for based on your background and experience. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Okay, so what is Europe Basketball Academy and Euro Pro Basket? Essentially, what both of these boil down to is that they're basketball tryouts, overseas basketball tryouts, where you will go to this academy, you'll enroll with it, you'll pay a fee for it, a big fee, and then you will try to get a basketball contract through these academies. Well, both academies essentially will say that they have a deep network of connections. They've been in the Europe for a long time. They may have connections with former teams. Uh, they themselves may be former players associated with coaches in the European system. And through this, they say that through coming in their academy, you will get a good chance of signing with a European basketball team. So with all that in mind, what did I find in 2021? Euro Pro Basket by far exceeded the Europe Basketball Academy. There was 29 players signed in comparison to just 10 players signed in Europe Basketball Academy. Now, all of this information is completely public knowledge. I just went on both of their websites, followed their social media accounts, just made a track uh, tracking list, basically a database of all the players that they signed, and I just compared one to the other. But where it really gets interesting is that when you look at players who signed through these academies to a pro club, you can actually break it down even further on nationality, on their college experience and on the country that they played at. Based on that, you can get some pretty cool data from Euro Pro Basket. Now, the most successful would be a North American, whether that's with a dual nationality North American or just a pure American. The second most important detail here is that 35% of them came from the NCAA system, whether that's division one or division three. So as you can see here, college experience makes a big difference uh, to these clubs in Europe because I frequently see a lot of players with only high school experience, very minimal experience. They'll go to one of the two academies and they'll come back disappointed and frustrated. At least in 2021, neither was very successful in getting a player signed with just high school experience. Now, obviously, that's going to be extremely tough anyway to do. So it's not really a, a, an, an indictment on either of them. It's not really a negative for either of them, but it's just that they couldn't really bridge that gap, maybe as some people would have hoped with you being in front of coaches, scouts, and teams in Europe. Now, the final statistic is that, unsurprisingly, because both of these academies are based in Spain, the vast majority of the players were signed in Spain. 76%, I believe, were signed in Spain through Euro Pro Basket, whereas 60%, I believe, were signed in Europe Basketball Academy. If you are looking at either of these academies and you are looking to get signed afterwards, this is the most successful player profiles. Now, if you meet that player profile, then probably it'd be in your best interest to go there. If you're at your wit's end, you have nothing else going for you. But if you are not in that player profile, then I think there are better ways for you to get through this. Out of both of these academies, I have to say Euro Pro Basket is by far the more transparent of the two. They had a complete breakdown of each player assigned and they had a little blurb, a little biography of them just like this. And then what they did was they actually showed their highest level of college experience where they signed the country, the league, et cetera. Whereas with the Europe Basketball Academy, it was extremely hard to get any information out of anything. I emailed them. They never replied to any email. I've sent them multiple emails in the past, but they've never replied to any of them. But I just did the best that I could. And from that, I came up with these two databases of Euro, Europe Basketball Academy and Euro Pro Basket. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is all of this even relevant? Why is all this even important? Well, if you're going to be spending thousands of dollars to go to the academy, you better know which player is most successful going to that academy. Otherwise, you might as well just be taking a shot in the dark because you really have no idea. So with Euro Pro Basket, at least you have an idea of what player profile is going to be successful. Whereas in Europe Basketball Academy, you really have no idea. They didn't. They don't tell you uh, the college that they went to. They don't tell you really their past experience. They don't really give you any sort of feedback of what player is most successful. 
So for me, if I were to choose either of the two, I would have to say it would be Euro Pro Basket. Now, some of you may be saying, why is it even why is it even relevant that I do this in the first place? There's plenty of combines, there's plenty of basketball academies, there's plenty of basketball trials, overseas basketball trials in the US, in Canada, in wherever. And why do I have to spend thousands of dollars when I can just go spend $50, $100 over here, get my chance and maybe get a pro contract? Well, for me, there's a few red flags. I know all of them aren't bad, but for me, there's a few red flags whenever you are doing tryouts in the States, the location. Whenever you are in front of coaches, scouts, teams, directly in front of them, you had a massive advantage because there's no more guesswork. There's no more guesswork of them trying to gauge okay, what's the baseline on their film, on their highlight tape? Who are they playing against? So who, how, what's the athleticism like? What were the circumstances like? Whereas if you if they just see you in person playing, that makes all of that disappear because they can see with their own eyes, the eye test, is this kid good enough? Is he not good enough? Second biggest advantage is obviously when you go to these combines, you just have to think about the majority of the teams who are going to get a player from these combines or these overseas basketball academies, they are lower level teams that don't have a lot of money. Even in Euro Pro Basket, who had a much more sign-ins than Europe Basketball Academy, they usually sign those players to teams that are very low level, fourth, fifth, sixth level in Spain. Some of them, they may not even be getting a salary. Some of them may be getting very little salary. Some of them may not even get their food covered. So a lot of these teams don't have a lot of money. So do you honestly think be willing to pay a flight for you to come over? Or do you think that they would be willing to find to pay maybe the agent finder fee to the combine to the academy which discovered a player for them these are a lot of question marks and you really don't know a lot of these combines a lot of these academies they say that there's a stream going on that teams back in europe or back in asia or back in latin america or wherever they're going to be watching the games but you really have no idea you do not have any clue who's on the other end of that connection is there a coach there? Did he watch for five minutes? Did he watch for 10 minutes? Did he watch for the first 10 seconds? The link wasn't working. All these things are possible, but you really have no idea. The only thing you can do is just take their word for it. And for me, I want more security. I want someone in front of me watching me. I know and with my own two eyes that he's watching me, that he came here to recruit a player and is at least a possibility that I have a chance to get picked up. Okay, so we have Euro Pro Basket, we have Europe Basketball Academy, but what about the rest of the world? Aren't there overseas tryouts somewhere else that I can benefit from? The short answer to that is not really. For the most part, Europe is probably the best location for these tryouts. If you try to go to Asia or the Middle East, these are basically closed off money markets. These are for high level players who are experienced. There's not really too much leeway there. Europe is actually a great, great candidate for these tryouts because of its multi-tier system. You know, I recently did a blog article on Italy and they have nine divisions there. I was playing in Germany previously. They had 11 divisions there. So there's a lot of these leagues where you can get your start in these lower division leagues. So Europe and these basketball academies kind of go hand in hand. So if you were looking for an overseas tryout, an overseas basketball academy, Europe is still the spot that I would look for. So there you guys have it, a quick rundown of the top basketball academies and overseas basketball tryouts in Europe. That's really only the tip of the iceberg. I get into much more detail on both the things that I like and dislike about both in my blog article. I'll link that in the description below. This is going to help out more players if you give a like and it helps with the algorithm. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. God bless. Take care and peace.